We uh, believe that uh, the mandate uh, for the Goldstone report was one-sided and that uh, uh, many of the uh, recommendations um, are appropriately dealt with uh, by the institutions within Israel. Uh, therefore, we believe that the appropriate venue within the international system is the Human Rights Council. Uh, we and other nations will be engaged uh, uh, about that, uh, but we have uh, grave uh, concerns about uh, the recommendations. So first of all, grave concerns about the recommendations. What precisely do, do you think she means by that? Well, she may mean, she may mean uh, uh, having reference to, to, to the Security Council. It's difficult to deal with Secretary Clinton's criticisms without knowing what they are. I mean, she, she wasn't specific, no, no, no. Uh, I think she said to all. keep it within the Human Rights Council and not to, not to put it to the Security right. Council. But, but, but the problem is the Human Rights Council has, has got no enforcement powers at all. Does it bother you the reputation that the Human Rights Council has, which is as an basically anti-Israeli? Uh, absolutely, and, and this, is the, this, is the, this is the reason I initially refused to get involved on what I consider to be a, 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 a very lopsided, unfair resolution. It was only when the mandate was broadened uh, that I was prepared to get involved. And, and certainly I've on many occasions spoken about what I consider to be the unfortunate uh, over-concentration by the Human Rights Council uh, on, uh, on Israel. Now we talked about each side conducting their own investigations. Israel has uh, its justice, the wheels of justice that turn. What do you expect, really, you can get out of Hamas in Gaza? Well, well Hamas have, have uh, 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 courts open. There are courts in Gaza. Uh, pe people are convicted. Some people, uh, regrettably in my view, are, are sentenced to, uh, to, to be executed. Um, but, but if Hamas hasn't got the sufficient resources, hasn't got sufficient lawyers and judges, which I doubt, I've no doubt that the international community will, will, will fill any gap uh, that there may be in uh, such an absence of resources. And just final question, where does one go from here in terms of international justice, given the controversy over this report? Well, I think what's very important is that double standards need to stop. It's really unfair that, that, that international criminal justice only, uh, only involves smaller, weaker, weaker powers. I think it's very important for that reason that the United States should become much more active and much more involved in the International Criminal Court. I think it's moving in that direction, but I'd have to see it move a lot quicker. On that note, Judge Goldstone, thank you for joining us, and we'll obviously be following the developments in this. And we are going to a break now. When we come back, we'll discuss this and other vital national security issues with former U.S. Secretary of State Madeleine Albright. Thank you very much. Hamza, his nine siblings, and his parents live here. Oh, my God. They tell me their home was hit by missiles twice. As I reported, as many journalists reported earlier this year, the Gaza war caused destruction, fear, and death on both sides. Joining me now, former U.S. Secretary of State Madeleine Albright to discuss all this. Welcome. Thank you very much. We just had Judge Goldstone on talking about the report on the Gaza war, saying that he would be delighted if, in fact, the reports we're hearing from Israel turn out to be true, that they're going to have some kind of investigative committee. Do you think the U.S. is doing enough to support this, and should it do more? Well, the report. I, first of all, let me say I know Judge Goldstone very well and have the greatest respect for him, and I'm very glad that he has uh, worked on this. I think that the United States cares deeply about the loss of civilian life on both sides, and but also understands the difficulties of what it's like. And you asked him a question about generally in war now about civilian casualties. I think that what the U.S. Uh, thinks is that this needs to be within the Human Rights Council. Uh, and that it would be great, I speak for myself, that basically it needs to be investigated by the Israelis themselves and uh, by Hamas. Is it, does it make an effect, does it have an effect that, for instance, human rights organizations like Human Rights Watch say that the U.S. should side with the Goldstone Report? 
I think that the U.S. has to uh, look at the facts from the perspective of both sides and not the human rights people obviously have a very strong interest in this and I admire what they do but I think that what the US believes is that investigations need to happen within Israel and among Hamas and then also that the Human Rights Council itself of which the US is now a member is also an appropriate place to discuss this. Can we uh, move on to some other